right guys well this is Dave again and welcome back to nomadic e-biking adventures it's Friday the 8th Friday the 8th we just got done with a uh, little uh, rainstorm that came through the area this morning and finally dried off enough uh, winds are out of the northwest this morning uh, About 12 miles an hour about 75 degrees right now Going up into the 80s. So it should be a beautiful day out there today Yesterday we got kind of rained out And uh, really feel too comfortable using the e-bike the e yesterday. I think a lot of it had to do with um, with the new tire and also the uh, wet pavement it just didn't feel right. So we're gonna do a little local uh, e-bike ride just in a couple subdivisions on this side of uh, Texas one farm road 150 till we feel comfortable that this back tire is back up to a hundred percent we uh, dropped the PSI on the back tire it was at 39 and a half I dropped that to 37 and a half We'll see if that uh, is any better today as far as, um, I think with a brand new tire, it's just uh, riding on the, the high tread and it feels like it's slipping. So we're going to zigzag through the subdivision here. Easy on the corners, just to make sure that wheel is feeling good and yesterday was the first day that I used a DJI mic 2 mic and I kind of watched some uh, YouTube videos on it to, to see what were the pros and cons and then I uh, uh, watched some videos on the Blackmagic camera which is the app that you need to use because uh, it's not compatible uh, with the iPhone camera right now hopefully that'll change but right now I got a I found out that I, I can adjust the lens on it I was always using the what they call the fisheye and yesterday I was just using it uh, on the standard what you saw basically this part was all in focus and everything past that was kind of a blur well with the fisheye it kind of does a broader view of it so it's a little bit more clear and uh, kind of uh, experimented to make sure I got the mic on for the uh, for the camera app So we'll see it's a learning process I kind of mentioned yesterday are you going out now I got to make sure all these uh, things are done before I start the ride I mean I, I put together a, a checklist make sure this app is open make sure this is done uh, so I mean it uh, <laughs> there's like 15 stuff to do So the fun sun has finally came out. And the bike does feel more comfortable now. So 
So I'm going to experiment with this camera, this new camera app that I got to make sure it's working the way it's supposed to be working. I think one thing I need to verify is to make sure the, uh, the new DJI is uh, on and recording through it. I got a feeling yesterday with the wind noise and everything it wasn't on all the time. Because that's how it would... It's supposed to be a lot better with wind resistance on it. And uh, just at a glance, I mean I see the camera on, but I, one thing they, they've got is a sound meter that's on it. And it will show that it's uh, working on the DJI. You have to uh, select it. I'm just going to pull over to the side here for a second and verify it because I can't really see it with this going. But you hit this sound bar. Yep, it's got the DJI on it. And everything's still recording, so we're good. Until I get comfortable, you know, with the DJI mic and its uses and limitations, and I'm just gonna, I may stop every once in a while. And the rear tire feels better. I think it might have just had too much air in it. So we'll have one more ride. If today feels good, we may do 20 miles on this thing. And then tomorrow, Saturday, will probably be our last uh, ride in this area before we go to our new house sitting in Wimberley. But we'll be taking a um, ride to San Antonio. Like I mentioned before with this DJI mic, I got just the transmitter instead of the whole package which includes the transmitter, receiver, and charging case, which would have brought it close to three to four hundred dollars. So I just got the transmitter which is only a uh, hundred dollars and I connected it through the Bluetooth on the iPhone. Now they said that the uh, the Bluetooth is not as good as the receiver, but I think uh, for what I'm using it for, I think it'll be just fine to uh, to use it like I'm using it now. And if I see that it's going to be an issue in the future. Um, I think the cheapest upgrade would be to get the receiver and the, you can't just buy the receiver by itself right now. So you have to buy the receiver and the charging port or charging case, which is another 200, $219, I think. So I think I went through everything on my checklist. I got everything working that's supposed to be working. I found out what was wrong with my uh, little computer here. Uh, for some reason, it didn't make a good connection and it uh, wasn't fully charged. So I uh, 
verified it yesterday. I put it back on a charger again and verified that it was charging and it's got a full charge according to the battery that's in the upper right hand corner there. So we should be good. And it's showing we've been out for 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes and gone just right at three miles. So we got that working. And with this DJI mic, it frees up my uh, charging port on my iPhone to be able to charge the iPhone uh, later when it uh, starts dropping. Because with these longer rides, my iPhone seems to uh, lose its charge and go dead. So. Right around when I replace the uh, battery, if I get 20 miles out of it, if I replace the battery, uh, I'll double check and see how much um, how much battery life is left on my iPhone. And it's been doing pretty good. I mean, it's been right around 24 to 35 percent left on the uh, on the iPhone when I change out the battery swap out the battery See, now the wind has been is, is pretty brisk right now so uh, it'd be interesting to see how the DJI mic works with this just stay in the local neighborhoods right now just to make sure my wheel feels good when I take the turns like this it doesn't feel like it's sliding off to the side or something definitely by not today but probably tomorrow we should hit 1200 miles on the uh, e-bike we're at uh, 1140 right now it would be pushing it to get the 1200 Tell everything's starting to green up, that's for sure. Well, it is feeling better on the bike.
got the uh, battery swapped out with a fresh one. And we should have another 18 miles to go if we want. At least that. But we're going to go uh, zigzag around a little bit more. The bike seems to be doing good. stretch it too much today because I uh, wanted to see how the uh, rear tire was going to react and I think for the most part it uh, should be pretty good so tomorrow will be our last bike ride in this area so uh, we'll hit all the uh, subdivisions and uh, see how far we get with that and hopefully everything is going to be pretty good Beautiful day coming up tomorrow also, so until then, appreciate you coming along for the ride, and until next time, adios.